like many, I am a struggler, I, I struggle with diabetes. <clears throat> now, for the longest time, that meant cutting out sugary sodas altogether, switching over to seltzer, which they do have flavored seltzer, seltzer without the sugar, which for me sort of scratched that itch, but not fully. But then a co-worker clued me into something in our uh, cold greens section. Ollie Pop Soda. This particular uh, example is lemon lime, uh, reminiscent of Sprite or 7-Up. <clears throat> and according to this, it has four grams of sugar per uh, can, which is a far cry from the, well, I don't exactly remember the amount, but I think it's like 30 plus grams for regular soda. So I decided, what the heck, why not give it a try? Okay. This looks like soda. Let's see if it tastes like soda. Mm. Mm. Okay, um, it's not quite as fizzy as your standard soda. It does taste sweet. And the lemon lime is a little more pronounced than in Sprite. But overall, it's um, it's not bad actually. I probably should avoid uh, drinking large quantities of it at once. But, honestly, on occasion, I could see myself having some, um, you know, as long as I don't overdo it. And maybe mix it with plain seltzer to give it a little more fizz. The possibilities are endless. So, check your local... Uh, veggies and fruit section of Walmart near where they have the lettuce um, you'll find various drinks including this one so it might be good to experiment but always do it safely this is Mr. J signing out and reminding you no I'm not a paid spokesperson for Walmart I do work there but <laughs> I can't help but talk about this stuff uh, always eat, drink, and be merry safely. Everything in moderation. Cheers.